Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we found a place with peculiar tacos that are becoming quite the thing here in the Lone Star State. We're at Henry's Puffy Tacos. When it comes to San Antonio traditions, the first things that come to mind might include the Riverwalk, the Alamo, and Fiesta. But when it comes to food, the Puffy Taco is pretty much a part of the culture in these parts. What do you come here for? Puffy tacos. The puffy taco. Eat the puffy tacos. It's the best. What are puffy tacos? Uh, well, um, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but oh, how would I say this? I don't know. I'm not good at this. They're pretty unique. How many times a day do you have to answer that question? What is a puffy taco? Yeah, they they want to know a little bit about it. Hmm? Amelda Sanchez has the answer we're looking for. Puffy taco is a. Uh, fresh corn dough, or masa we call it. And it's just a thick corn dough that when you uh, deep fry it in some hot oil, uh, it'll puff up. We, we form it into a taco shell. So then we stuff it with your choice of filling, ground beef, um, chicken, bean and cheese. We have a, about seven different types of fillings. It's good, just good. You know, a lot of people mess up on puffy tacos, but this is, they, they, they do a really good job here. This puffy taco phenomena all started in the 50s when Imelda's father, Henry, worked with his oldest brother, Ray, at Ray's Drive-In. The pair experimented with deep fried food, and when they found out what happened to fried up masa dough, they had a culinary creation with a kick. It's a taco like no other. It's so special, Henry's has a special secret tool to make it happen. We have a patent on what we use, a tool that we use to create the shell, and um, so we're able to create the puffy taco shell um, quite quickly. Is the patent a tool widely known, or is that one of those things where it's like, don't point the camera in this direction? Yeah, kind of don't point the camera in this direction. Henry opened his own restaurant in 1978, and through the years, Imelda and her siblings helped out wherever they could. Now, they all run the business together. We all want the same things for our family business, and we all think alike, and you know, it's uh, so it works well. With a taco like this on their side, it's no wonder the family business is booming. We headed to the back to make some tacos, and it all starts with mixing corn masa, water, and salt. Was this your first job in the restaurant? Um, no, my first job was in the front. I was a greeter, so I was a hostess. Oh, the hostess, yeah. okay. Once flattened, it's time to fry. You'll see a nice sizzle. Oh, it's starting to puff. Okay. It's starting to become a puffy taco. And this is a tool where you can't see. Oh, we can't see it. Nothing. Look away. Oh, ooh. Ah. And we're back. And look, there's a puffy taco. Nice and puffy. Wow. To fill it up, our friend Eric gets to the good stuff. Starting off with shredded chicken, one of the most popular ordered items we have on the menu. Okay. And then spicy beef fajita, we're going to go ahead and go on to. And that is uh, one of the ones that uh, made the best taco list. Uh, All right, best tacos in the country. Country, exactly. All right. And those are really... Taking Texas to the country. Move on to our oh. toppings. Okay. You know, it comes with lettuce and tomato. This is great with also cheese and guacamole. It's hard to fit everything into a puffy taco. Right. Oh man, that looks beautiful. Well, let's okay. go showcase our uh, puffy love. Right? Yeah, yeah, puffy love. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are with the puffy tacos. One shredded chicken and one spicy fajita beef. We'll start with the most popular, the shredded chicken. Pick it up and already you can feel just how that shell is put together so nicely, fresh off the fryer. Puffy, perfect, holding in all those toppings just right. Now it's just time to see what's become a Texas phenomenon. It makes your mouth water as soon as you bite into it. It is crunchy, but not as crunchy as a crispy taco. Just the perfect mixture of everything you'd expect to find in a taco. Like a soft taco, but better, all thanks to the puffy. Savory. Not everybody can make puffy tacos. These folks can. The shredded chicken has amazing flavor. It pairs together so well with that puffy taco. But now we're gonna go on to the spicy fajita. In one word, mm -hmm. It's just juicy. Just a nice, soft beef that pulls apart, goes into your mouth, kicks the taste buds, and then warms the rest. They're not as spicy, but I'm a spicy person, so. Who wants a taco? This guy. It's the puffiness when it crunches and you get all the flavors and juices into that corn dough. It just explodes and just 
also melts in your mouth, all the flavors. Well, the puffy taco is perfect for this uh, puffy guy. We call it puffy love. Puffy, puffy. I often pondered what the puffy taco would be like on my palate. Would it be peculiar or would it be perfect? It's perfect. They genuinely cook the food with their hearts and that's something that you don't get nowadays. I think they make the best puffy tacos in San Antonio. Well, if you're looking for some terrific Tex-Mex that's become a tradition here in Texas, Henry's Puffy Tacos is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Everybody has experienced the most best thing you've ever tried. <laughs> we are pretty proud and we're pretty happy and excited and want to definitely continue this and let everybody know, you know what San Antonio has to offer and that Henry's Puffy Taco is here to, to serve some great food. That's how we do it on the Texas Buggy List.